what is up you guys tonight we are making super easy spaghetti and meat sauce with sausage and peppers now i use ragu but i zhuzh it up a bit so it's not as canny i guess you would say this is just what i use the traditional So now we're going to start on the sausage. I just throw that right into the frying pan and I actually add water to it, which will boil them and make them cook quicker because I do not like to be in the kitchen for a long time. So any kind of shortcuts that I can take, that's what I do. So now we're going to get started with the chopped meat. Make sure you just turn your sausages as they're cooking so that they cook completely through. Here I'm using ground beef. You can use ground turkey. I tried it a few weeks ago. My husband did not like it. So now we're going to just add some seasonings just to kind of zhuzh everything up. You got salt, pepper, you can add garlic powder, or onion powder if you want. I just used the minced garlic. So now we are just going to brown up the meat and then I'm going to transfer that into the regular saucepan, put the spaghetti sauce with it. I'm going to boil this until the water is done and then cut up the sausages and then just fry them up. And then while all that's happening, I'm going to boil some water for the pasta noodles. So now that the meat is done browning, you want to drain any excess grease that's in there. And then I threw it into a saucepan, added the tomato sauce to it with a little bit of extra Italian seasoning. I'm going to put that on the back burner on low just so it can warm up. And now we're going to take the sausages out and cut them, throw them back in there, and then that way they'll get a little bit crispy. You don't necessarily have to cut them. I just do that because I find that when I'm trying to cut a sausage on a plate of spaghetti sauce, somehow the spaghetti sauce gets all over me. So if they're already in bite-sized pieces, that's one less thing you have to do while you're eating. Once your water is boiling, then you're gonna throw in your pasta. Today I'm using just regular rigatoni. And then you're gonna wait for the water to come back up to a boil and then you're gonna add some salt and that's pretty much the only time you get to flavor the actual noodles themselves but you want to make sure that your water is boiling if it's not boiling then the salt will stick to the bottom and then it's gonna ruin your pan so now while the noodles are boiling, I'm just gonna throw some Texas toast onto the pizza stone and get that in the oven. This is actually the Aldi's brand, which was kind of weird because it was a five cheese that had cheddar cheese on it. And I don't really associate cheddar cheese with pasta, so I probably won't buy it again, but it wasn't terrible. And then as you're doing everything else, you definitely wanna keep an eyeball on your sausage so that it doesn't burn. There's no longer water in the pan, so they're literally just crisping up. I'm sure there's a culinary word for that, but I ain't got one. So now we just have to wait for the pasta to finish cooking and we grill for it. And then I didn't film it, but I threw some salad that was already pre-made into a bowl and the boys were starving, so I just needed to get the dinner on the table. So there it is. I hope it gave you some inspiration on something to cook for dinner. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. So now what I usually do is I will boil the sausage for a little bit. Let me get up and close some personal here. Thank you.